So yeah, we got a battle going on. We got Chandler with the outstanding 14 under first round, and we got five guys at 12 under. Let's do it. Chandler electing for the forehand. I'm guessing he's throwing a Zeus or a Force, maybe one of those two. Yeah, probably a Force. It looks like he forced that one. Hmm. I think he's got a putt. Chris Wall going with the forehand. From what I remember, he he throws a nice low forehand usually with his forehand. Yeah. Oh, that looks nice perfect flex. Low. Yep. And it may look like a misrelease, but I think he intentionally keeps it pretty low. Not just for this shot, but from when I've seen him throw his sidearms before. Alex yep. going back to the boss. We all know Alex Russell's sidearm is <laughs> money. Right. And I'm going with the sidearm here as well. Oh, it seemed like it was pretty good out of my hand. Just caught some little bit of branch action. Got to give a quick shout out here to Tyler Schrock with the ace. What a great way to start the round. Yeah, and he threw the backhand line. Just straight air right into the basket. Just a tight line flipping up and just went right at it all the way. Sick. Alex is playing his touch out there. Got Dom put him from about 90 feet out. He's really trying to put it up there. Yeah. Really. What I know, I'm pretty sure Chris got an up and down motion in his putt because they yeah. did a job right in the basket. Oh, yeah. yeah. It's interesting to me how people can use that putt and just trust the height of it and trust it to drop. Yeah, so whenever he misses, it stays pretty close to the basket. Yeah. And, and it's so flat. Yeah. Chandler. Great, yeah. strong putting stroke. Again, looking smooth, though. It looks pretty effortless when he does it. Yeah, that's Bang. that's typical for Chandler. So he, clean. he's known for his his putt and his Heiser flip backhand shots. So yeah, expect to see him ring those up this round. So yeah, I bet this is a nervy putt here for Alex to start the round. A little bit of a tester, but with with the putt as strong as his, I think the only thing nervy about that one would be these baskets catching. <laughs> yeah, well, you know. Yeah, at this point in time, my my putting stroke is pretty quick. I've slowed it down a little bit since then, but uh, looks like uh, pretty quick there. See how well it works the rest of the round. So yeah, two birdies in the holes. Great way to start, Chandler and Chris. Uh, we got hole two here, averaging 3.41. There's no birdies on the second round. That shows the difficulty that this hole can bring. Yeah, like we said last time. Most guys are playing this for a three. Just get a nice controlled power shot. Don't push it too far. Looks like Chandler's gone a little bit long, but he's not out of position for his easy three. Chris is known for his control and, and smooth form. Let's see if we'll see some of that here. Oh yeah. Wow. Exactly like Chris yeah. Wall. <laughs> Look, just effortless too. Wow, he's got a putt. Not easy to do on this one. Give yourself a look. All these guys getting off the tee clean. I'm seeing their line. I'm ready to just throw that same line. Most important thing is hitting the initial gap and making the mando yeah. as it looks like they've done so far. Yeah. And much earlier release than I was looking for. So now I haven't passed the Mando, so I'm looking at it to see if I have a good angle for maybe a roller, which is probably not. I mean, at this point, it seems like it is the best play, but I think I got a little bit more aggressive with it as I put that speed on it than I needed to. Yeah, from there, no one's getting up and down. You oh, just have yeah. to pitch out and take your medicine and play for bogey. Yeah, and I put myself in a tough position on the right side over here. That little bush in front of me. Looks like he has over 300 left of the pin. Yeah. Oh, ho, ho. oh. 
So it looks like I'm going to be putting for a four from down there. Not the way I wanted to start the round, but I also know in my head that this hole can be that way um, if you miss the Mandy. So not really too upset, but I am feeling the nerves at this point in the round. <laughs> Playing with these guys, they're all rated uh, pretty high, and um, they've just had a history of uh, demonstrating their uh, their performance. And uh, I'm definitely the newcomer as far as that goes, so definitely feeling the nerves. Alex giving that one a nice bid, but three is fine here and I'm actually really telling myself to make this one uphill putt no problem giving it a lot of speed just not even really giving it the right the right amount of energy is this Chandler's drive now? no it should be Chandler for par here I didn't sound yeah he had the up shot yeah and he cleans up I was probably talking Yo, it sets these guys as part as they're putting. You can see mm -hmm. every player in this card makes the putts you gotta make. Yeah, and we'll continue to see that throughout the round. Wah, wah, wah. <laughs> Take my five and keep going. Fortunate five, but it's still early in the round. Yeah. Very unfortunate. Back to hole three, par four, averaging 3.82. We had 10 birdies on the day, so. See what Chandler. Chandler can do. Probably a force. Yeah, force or Zeus, one of the two. It's a little tough to follow it. I'm, I'm pretty sure he clears this yeah. hole. Yeah, clears it nicely. That's ideal. Even get over the fence. Wow. And he that thing has some speed on it, though. Yeah, unfortunate. Yeah. I believe well, that's going to be OB. Alex, another boss shot, looks like. Looks like he put it out there with good angle, good speed. Wow. Oh, yeah, he clears it nicely. Really good too. shot. In good position. I was able to clear this fence first round, so I'm really just telling myself to do the same thing. And I think that one felt good out of my hand. No, I think I totally missed that line now that I see that <laughs> line. <laughs> yeah. It's all right. It's yeah, Chris in the drop zone, it looks like. Yep, and I'll wow. be going from the drop zone with him. Yeah, he made that look easy, but it sure isn't. Yeah. I think I elected to go with the forehand here, yeah. Yeah, and that'll do. Yeah, I definitely made it up on the hill, just a little tighter than I wanted, and gave myself a little death foot, but it's all right. Alex, the Avery X3 puts him about 20 feet. You have that left for birdie, maybe a little more. Yeah, Chandler's got displays touch with his backhand. He has all the angles he needs, so. Yeah, I'm not sure what he's throwing here, but he's only about 150 out, so I'm sure he'll just put it right there. Probably a Luna, maybe a big Z Luna? Luna, Roach, some type of disc like that. That's just yeah. straight. So here I do have a death putt, but there's no part of me that wants to lay this up. I've actually really been feeling good with my putt, despite what that looked like at this point. He so. definitely wanted it. Yeah. Oh. Uh, Good solid run back at the basket. Yeah. Fortunately, didn't catch. It's all right. Okay, Chris. Well, I think this is for his birdie. His bogey. Or not, no, par. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Par. Got up and down from the drop zone, which is really drop good. Zone. Alex, this will be for his birdie, right? Yep. This is a good part four, I think. The tee shot's demanding. You can see two shots to the drop zone. It yeah. doesn't take much for it to hit the fence or go out of bounds. Yeah. And let the drop yeah, in. Absolutely parked. That's how you want to play it. And I'm tapping in another double bogey. 
Back to back double bogeys. Definitely not what you want in the first three holes. Final round lead card. But you gotta keep going. Chandler ripping out maybe. I'm guessing. Machete? Maybe a machete. I was gonna say machete or a raptor, but I don't know if he throws the raptor very much. Raptors may not have came out at this point. Okay, okay, yeah. Could be machete. Just a great forehand there. Alex with the gator, it looks like. We've seen him throwing this a lot, first round. Oh, that looks pure. And too. looks the same exact shot. Skip right to it. Oh, yeah. Wow. 20 long, 15 long. Not much. Yeah, you'll see mostly sidearms on this hole. The backhand just tends to run away from it even when you hit the line perfectly. Oh. Usually you'll see Chris hit that line pretty well. That's a rare miss from him. I was pretty happy with this one out of my hand. A little unfortunate in the ground play, but he's still right there, 20 feet. Yeah. Chris is part of this out, probably about 200 feet. And looks like easy par for him. Yeah. Chandler from about 30 feet, probably. This is all day. Pretty sure he puts with the focus. And he was focused. Pretty sure he puts with freaking laser accuracy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no doubt about that. Yeah. Wish I could do that. <laughs> I'm not sure exactly what Alex puts with, but I'll assume it's a AVR of some sort. Yeah, I'm not sure either. Maybe it beat this. Doesn't matter, he makes it no matter what putter it is. Getting that good footing. Yeah. Ready to clean up. Just trying to take my time with it after back to back double bogeys. I have to put him back on track now. Yeah, you. Yeah. It's always nice to get a birdie, but I'm still, I'm just feeling like, you know, I don't feel like I erased what happened, obviously, so just trying to stay focused and stay patient. Chris with the solo par there and three birdies. All right, hole five. You tend to see a lot of sidearms off to the left. <laughs> you might see a backhand, maybe. We'll see. <laughs> I feel like normally you see a lot of backhands on this hole, but um, first round we saw three out of four guys throw the sidearm, so... Uh, I think I'm gonna uh, wait a while before I make my conclusion about this hole. Yeah. There you go. Chandler's backhand back dominant, line. so. That's what I want to see. Probably a buzz. Yep, I wouldn't doubt it. Yep, he put it out nice and easy, so I'm guessing it wasn't a putter. Just mm. a little more speed. Alex is the AVRX3. Going for that sidearm flex again. Just these two trees, or these trees on the left here are what to me makes that line a little weird. But I'm not very good with the forehand flex, so I'm not one to speak about it. Yeah, puts him about 15 feet. Alright, Dom lining up the back end hyzer. I think I'm throwing a mid here. Yeah. That looks pretty good. Ooh, different angle. Let's see what happens. Buckets! <laughs> <laughs> and there's an oh, ace. Man. Way to get back on track. Wow, yeah, that, that felt great. Three down left. Oh, it shows <laughs> it. You gotta love the emotion. Yeah, oh, I remember being on Chase Card and I watched him. I was like, that'd be dumb. Yeah, I really felt really good. There's just those, those shots when you throw them right out of your hand, it kind of puts you in a trance like, oh, that's perfect. And then you just watch it the whole way. Look at this that fairway uh, flight. Beautiful. Blue disc, blue fairway flight, and it's in the basket. Hoping we can get more of those uh, fairway flights here and keep getting those aces. <laughs> and that's actually the first ace filmed by Fairway Media. So congrats to Dom, congrats Fairway Media. Yep, the first fairway flight, I'll take it. Glad to be a part of it. Oh, that's right. Yeah. Sick. I remember watching that from Chase Carden. Down with all the excitement, you'd love to see it. We just said that. We were like, oh, okay. There's a birdie. 
Yeah, I'm definitely feeling like uh, I got the momentum going the right way, but I think just like you know, when, when you get an ace uh, during a round, it's, it's hard to control. It can be hard to control your, um, your nerves. Uh, and so I'm having a roller coaster round, but I'm, I'm feeling good at this point, obviously. Yeah, between the lead and the chase card, two aces through five holes, so. Yeah, it's exciting. Yeah, it's pretty already. crazy. Yeah. That's what this sport's all about, those moments. It's definitely not about double bogeys. <laughs> yeah. But a moment like that can really change around, then. Yeah, for sure. And even honestly, like, once I once that went in, something in me was just like. Just happy that, that that happened. Like, not saying I stopped trying for the rest of the round, but I was definitely feeling like I could go home happy with that. And they actually put five under on the hole. You really never see that, so. The yeah. Griff, yep. <laughs> they can't be too disappointed about losing the pad yeah. in that style. No, yeah. It's maybe the only pad I have, the, or the only time I have the pad the entire round, so. Can't emo imagine the emotion you're feeling here. Oh, man, I just, I'm ready to He's rip He's just ready to rip, too. yeah. This hole requires some extra speed, so I feel like I've, I've got the juice to get it right now. And he's really uh, yeah. on it. Yeah, he wanted it. Oh, I felt like I put it out there, too. I was surprised when it didn't uh, stable up a little quicker than that. He's in the bushes. Man, I missed that disc. This <laughs> is a line that Chandler throws really well. He loves to throw his flexes. Probably another yeah. force here. It's almost just like second nature for him to just put it up there like that. It's just a natural shot for him. We actually had seven birdies this round compared to the three in the first round, so. Mm -hmm. Looks like another good line. Mm -hmm. Yeah, these guys just demonstrating why they're in lead card. Mm -hmm. Shots like that time and time again. Gotta get another one. That looks like it's supposed to be parked. Yeah, that's about 15 feet. That's That'll do. Nice and easy yeah. up there. What do you say? About 80 feet here? Yeah, I'd, I'd say six, 70, 60. 70. Not too far, yeah. He's in the bushes. And I'll do for par. Yeah. Oh, a little roll. <laughs> yeah. Alex got a long putt here. Probably circle two. Pretty sure he's gonna knock this down. Wow. Yeah, that's Alex Fashion right there, bringing him up mm -hmm. from deep. Oh, another angle here. Look at that, just straight up, straight down. Yeah, no wobble, no chance of missing at all, really. Chris, you you don't see many drives get this close. No, yeah, that should be easy. Yeah, it's so easy. Tapping. There's already two birdies. Jammed it in there. Yep. Double check. Double check. Uh, yeah. Just fall out. Uh. And wow, Chandler's drive got this close, then. Yeah. So it's three birdies on the card. Wow. That's all we had yesterday, and this is just an yeah. elite card here. Now we're on the whole seven. This next one averaged 2.91, believe it or not. Yep, only four birdies on the day. Ooh. It looks like the wind got a hold. That was interesting. Yeah. It almost looked like it hit a branch, but there was no yeah. branch there to hit. Alex and Juice on the other side. I'm out there. See if you can correct from yesterday's drive. The common miss for a side arm to the right and gave yourself a putt. That was interesting. You see uh, the four birdies on this hole are all from players who have great power with their side arm. Alex Russell, Jordan wow. Newt, Lucas Lada, Zach Rziska. Backhand line accesses this pretty well also. Um, and I'm actually kind of surprised to see that no backhands birdied. Or I mean, not saying that they didn't backhand, but they're just uh, known for some sidearm distance. Look like yeah, and that's a common miss out there to the right. Yeah. That long grass is really grabby, so yeah. still have a putt from over there. Yeah, a little inside there and clips yeah. a branch. About 200 left out for the upshot here. Yeah. Just trying to get it close. Stable putter right to the basket. Yeah. And an easy par. 
I'm not trying to mess around with it. And it doesn't really look like it here, but there is a little bit of a downhill slope, so if you miss long with some speed here, it can get away from you. Chandler's very comfortable from this range, so. Yeah. He's is. not hitting metal, it's surprising. Yeah, it is. Alright. I think I was a little surprised that Chris didn't knock that one down, too. He's usually good from that distance. It's crazy how much pop Chandler gets. It doesn't seem like he uses too much of his legs. No, he just, he just like, so lets strong. the disco and it just blasts in there. <laughs> <laughs> to be able to create that kind of speed on your putt effortlessly and to have it just hang so straight is just such a such a tool to be able to knock down putts consistently. Let's see, guys, to clean up for par, and we'll move on to hole eight. Actually, back to back holes, they average 2.91, so. Interesting. Alex looking like he's hitting that same line from oh. round one, but he just gets knocked down a bit. That's what can happen in this hole. Yeah, it looks looks pretty forgiving, but those branches can be uh, pretty deceptive. You can also miss to the left of the tree and still give yourself a putt, which Chandler just displayed there, so. Yeah. We'll get another angle at this. Yeah, that'll be up there. That looks great. Get off it. Oh, yeah. Currently have two strokes separating everyone right now. That tall grass is really slowing those, those shots down. <laughs> Begging. <laughs> Almost get gets clean, through it get all. Clean, get clean. <laughs> it's all right. Put your elbow right there, dude. Come on. <laughs> okay, he's gonna try to pitch up and take his power and move on. Yeah. Once again, I'm doing the boring play. Just trying to put it up there and make it easy and walk away to the next one. Alex from about 55, it looks like. Yeah. like it was going to drop right in it's there. It's all good from that range. Yeah. Well, it looks like Chandler got a little closer than I thought. Probably about 35, maybe. He's looking determined. Yeah. Focus with the focus. That's in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. no doubt about that. Another Just so many. Generates so much power in that push butt. Yeah. See if Chris can knock this one down after missing the last one. Yeah, he got yeah. the height on that one. I think that was the only thing that was missing on his last putt. That type of putt, it seems like a pretty easy adjustment if you miss lower high. Yeah. And when you're always using the height, it's easy to diagnose that when you miss it. It's like, oh yeah, I just didn't get my height on it. There's got to be another force here from Chandler. Oh, yeah. yeah, just playing that little flex line. Wow. Wow, he's getting up there, too. Yeah, he took the the two in the first round here. Got the eagle, so. Yeah. Might be a little long here to give it another bid, but. Yeah, it's still set to Birdie, will, for birdie will be real, just fine. Yeah, real easy birdie look there. Looks like he's going roller. Yeah. I've never seen this play. No, it's cutting it real good too. Definitely looks intentional though. Wow. There it, is. it looks like it's pin high. Yeah, it's probably gonna be pitching up from there, but I've never seen that line before. The crowd's loving that one. Wow. 
It's interesting because nice. on the left side of this, you can't see it with the, the film here, but on the left side of this fairway is a steep downhill. So if he misses that angle by a little bit and ends up going left early, he's going to be in a real tough spot. So it's a gutsy shot, and he actually wow. did it great. It actually went about 520 feet. Yeah. Even through the grass a little bit. Yeah, he's got a Deeper nice the pin. comebacker. Yeah, he could run it if he wants, or he could just give himself an easy birdie with the layup. Wow, two great drives. Alex, another boss here. Yeah, we see that common miss that we saw round one. We're just turning it over too much. But he did correct from his mistake in the first round where he went a little early left, so that's actually probably a good miss for him. I'm going over stable distance driver. And yeah, I, again, the common miss. That's what happens with this hole. Yeah. You're so focused on making sure you miss that big trace on the left side that you just end up pushing it a little too far sometimes. This looks tricky here from Alex. Yeah. yeah. That's not the place you want to be. No, yeah. It you get pretty rough over there. If you get greedy in this hole, that's what can happen. Yeah, I think I'm looking at something similar. Looks like you might have a little line, a little turn over here. Yeah, right through that little window in the branches there. I kind of have to push it right through there with the little ante. I'm trying to decide. Just do the splits real quick. You gotta be careful with the speed here with the hill being right. Yeah. Basket yeah. perch up on the hill. Really, I'm I'm not even I don't think worried about that. I'm worried about hitting the window, which I ended up doing. But then Ooh, I knocked that hit tree, the late tree. Which kicked me away from the basket. Not great. Get the scroll a little shot. Oh. Really taking his time going through his routine. Yeah, it looks like he's just simple shot like that. See, can, it can really get away from you. Yeah, wow. Yeah. He's got a long comebacker. Yeah, and you can see the steepness of the hill. Yeah. Chandler, after seeing that, is probably, nah, I'll just take my easy birdie and move on. Yep. Wow. Keone Kahala right there, a little shout out. <laughs> Chris is probably about. 60 feet, yeah, 70 feet maybe. Like he's probably just gonna lay this up. Yeah, there's Much no reason this early in the round to get too crazy with it. Yeah, but he's taking his time. What's oh, he's going oh, for that. Oh, I don't right. know what happened with the that camera, but he went for that. He tricked me. I was wondering but with his putt, the way he puts it high and lets it drop, I was thinking it might be one he would run, but still, you can get big rollaways, so a little surprising to see him run that. Alex really wanted that comebacker. Yeah, he's struggling on this one. That should be first. easy work. Pretty easy birdie look here. He probably close his eyes and make this one. Very simple motion in this part. There you go, yeah. Yeah, the simpler the better. Alex, I believe, putting for bogey here. Oh, and just oh, rushed it. See, definitely seemed to rush his his motion and his routine there. You don't see that too much from Alex. He's a yeah. veteran in the sport, and yeah, that's that's gonna sting. Taking a six here, you're losing a lot of strokes. Yeah, it seemed like a rough hole for him. So I feel like just the entire hole can kind of bum you out a little bit when it goes that way. I'm not happy with the par either, but and that concludes the front nine. Ports still come open 2020 lead card round two. Thanks for watching. Justin Banks, Fairway Media, Commentary, Dominic Griffin, and Tanner Dorner. Like and subscribe! And we'll see you guys in part two. Like and subscribe. Do it!